cold. <laughs> yeah. Today is Wednesday. Um, Wednesday, the, um, is it the 16th, 17th, I think the 17th or 18th of January 20. And it's effing cold, man. I think it's minus 15 degrees or minus 20 now. Uh, I had to scrape my vehicle, my windscreen, to get um, um, to get rid of the ice. And damn, it's cold, man. It's, you see, like, this kind of thing, I they make person vex. Eh? See, this weather makes you angry. This weather makes you naturally angry. It just makes you angry. Why? There is this effect. There is this effect the sun has on us, on us humans, especially we Africans. There is this um, sun effect. There is this reaction that when the sun hits you, it has a very positive and blissful reaction. It sends a different type of energy, a different kind of energy into your system, into your veins, your brain. You know, your brain starts acting differently. But in, in the absence of the sun, only cold, you go out, you wake up in the morning, everywhere is freezing, everywhere is cold, your house is cold. You want to go out, you can't open your, your door, your car door. You, you, you know you're trying to like you know you can't even take your hands out of your pocket because it's freezing <laughs> but you have to unlock your vehicle you go into your garage your garage you can't unlock your garage you can't lift your garage door up it's annoying it makes you angry and in the absence of the sun you know there's something is going on inside our body when there is no sun to warm us up it makes you angry that is why i think i think that's the reason why africans in general are peaceful people that is why outsiders people who evolve in this cold in this freezing in this kind of climate they are always aggressive go around the walk Congering other people, causing problems. It's the annoyance. This, it, it, no, it's anger, and it, it's not intentional. Trust me, it's cold today, and I'm kind of. It, it vexes me small, but anyways, no be waiting. I've been one, you know, no be uh, waiting. I came online to talk to speak on be that today. Um, on a day, anyways, I'm Henry Crackhouse. You know, I visited Nigeria last year, and while I was in Nigeria, so many people, you know, I, 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 I asked after so many of the people I used to know, and many of them are dead now, and so many people I used to know, I just did. So I asked, like, what's been going on? Why are people dying? And uh, at them. My kid sister told me that, um, yeah, there's been a lot of poisoning of reasons that people are being poisoned or, or up and down. You know, hey, you have to be careful whom you're meeting. If you're meeting with someone, you have to wash out what you eat because poisoning is rampant now everywhere. People will just wake up and like you see someone today, tomorrow, the next day, that person is dead and what and it's like food poisoning. You know, that person was uh, uh, made up with someone the previous night and did not wake up the following morning. That there has been food poisoning, alcohol poisoning and all that. So I should wash out and just be careful. I was like, what? She said, yeah. But truth of the matter be say, <laughs> nobody is poisoning anybody. Nobody is poisoning anybody. See, I don't tell you this before. See, anytime we do stupid thing, anytime we do things where we know say that thing they crazy, anytime we do things where no correct, anytime we make mistake, despite say we've been warned and we've been told that what we are doing or what we've been doing 
is wrong. Instead of us to try and change from our ways and like turn a new life, we continue and carry on doing that same, the same thing, the same mistake, living that same lifestyle. And when it finally cashes up with, uh, cashes up or cashes on with us and kills us, the people left behind will start blaming it on some fictional thing, you know. Back in the days, they used to blame it on witches and wizards. Some people, you know, even nowadays, in some places, they are still blaming it on witches and wizards. Now it's all about poisoning food, poisoning people are being poisoned. I'm like, shut the F up. Nobody's poisoning you. And that is rampant now that people are just dying of food poisoning. But it wasn't like that. It never used to be like that, right? So... I'm here to tell you guys that nobody is poisoning you. You are not being poisoned by anybody except yourself. You are the one poisoning your, yourself. You are the one killing you. Do you know how? Okay, food poisoning wasn't rampant back in the days. That's what my sister told me, right? Yeah, back in the days you were not farming fish. Back in the days you know been the farm chicken. Back in the days, you know, been the farm snail. Back in the days, you were not shopping at ShopRite. So, look, back in the days, you were going to the open market and picking things, picking products from the farm. Products that farmers from the village will bring to the city, you know, to the open market in the city. You used to go to such markets, bend down, pick those things, negotiate with the farmers, the original, who were using animal dung who were using cow dung and uh, uh, animal feces to fertilize their products. The ground was healthy. The soil was healthy back in the days. They were not poisoning the soil. You were eating fish that fishermen were bringing from the river, from the ocean, from the Atlantic Ocean, from the, you know, industries were not poisoning your rivers. River Niger wasn't poisoned that time. River Niger wasn't so contaminated the way it is now. For farmers, we're bringing fish, crayfish from Esrohutan, from Esroron, from Ibaka. They were bringing all these things to the open market and you used to go there, pick them up, negotiate, take them home, cook them and eat them. And you were eating your dikaikong, your vegetable greens from your backyard. But now you're shopping those things at shop rides, at malls. They've packaged them. Indians, Asians have infiltrated your, have 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 infiltrated your nation. They've packaged all these things. They don't package these things. I I, I even saw that they've packaged. You know, they they started packaging chin chin. They package momoiko. They are packaging everything now. See, make I tell you guys. Before anything is being put in a plastic bag, the face of all, the face of all have to pump that bag full of some hydrogen kind of gas to preserve the content, the thing inside that bag. And I don't tell you now before, say, in the Western world, in Europe especially, where I did, you get government bodies where they control, they look into, waiting, then they use, fill them bags. Waiting that them they use, they sterilize them back, them them sachets. In Africa, nobody is paying attention to those things. And those Asians, because it's mostly Asians, Indians that have come into the con your country, and they, they, then them come begin to package these things, sell them to you. They don't give a fuck what they are. You no, know, what you know? They, they, look, look, man. That guy, the guy, okay, the guy selling you got. The guy selling you got on the back of a bicycle in your village. Is he aware of the content of the yogurt? You where they buy the frozen yogurt out of a uh, uh, waiting, waiting, they call that thing, waiting, they used to pre uh, 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 to make the uh, to keep the. You got uh, cold. You who's buying the you got? Are you aware of what's in there inside the you got? The guy selling those things is he even interested in what you know in knowing what is in the you got? Hell no. So uh, if you where they buy the things that they distribute, no say no sin. You no one know what's inside the thing. What makes you think 
that the producers, the manufacturers of such things will care. They don't care. So food poisoning, no been there rampant before because you were not eating those things. Now you, the farm fish, right? The fish where you they sell, the, the fish where you they save, the fish you're saving to your family, to your children, is farm fish. He means say, but people don't dig, somebody don't dig in backyard, put water inside small pond, put a thousand uh, catfish inside. Catfish, uh, suppose they swim inside open ocean. Then uh, this person could, could they feed these catfish with things where he no even know. He or she doesn't even know and doesn't care to check what's in the food, in the feed. That he or she is feeding to them fishes. So tell me how Nano go get food poisoning. And when you begin die, you start blaming it on some fictional thing that somebody is poisoning you. Nobody is poisoning you. You don't begin to poison yourself. And it will only get worse if you guys don't change your ways. Fact. It will get worse. You'll be dying more. You go to die, they go. If you don't change your ways, if you don't stop that, you live in a place where you're surrounded by rivers. You you know, you, you live on the coast of the Atlantic Ocean for crying out loud. So why the hell are you farming fish? Anyway, I understand saying a poverty. You know, poverty, it make you do crazy things, man. So I hope, say, come next month, February, say you guys will vote the right person into power. No vote person because he's from your tribe. No vote Peter Obi because he's an Igbo man. No vote Tinubu because he's a Yoruba man. No vote Atiku and the rest because they're this thing. Vote the right person. Vote person where you know say they competent, they could they capable to take you out of your current predicament and your current situation, send you into another realm of existence. Which I don't understand now. Be say why are they going to England to speak? <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out. I don't try to figure that out. Hey, why are people being to rule Nigeria in going to England to speak? I haven't, I've never seen an, an English politician who's running or vying to be the, uh, 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 the chancellor of Britain come to Nigeria to speak. So this is what I'm trying to understand. You know, it, it, it's like if we vote and anybody where we vote in February, is it going to be the same business as usual situation? I reserve my case, but I'm still looking at our Mustafa, Hamza, our Mustafa. I believe in Nigeria. I'm a pan-Nigerian, pan-Africanist. So I believe and I want a pan, a pro-Nigerian to rule Nigeria. I'm not trying to be um, the contradictive, but apparently <laughs> people now go go out there in February and repeat the same mistakes. Where we don't they repeat day. But no be waiting. I wanted to, to I came here to speak on with that. Food poisoning. Nobody is poisoning you. You are the one poisoning yourself. Stop doing the things you're doing and food poisoning will go away i'm henry crack house my car everywhere don't they freeze now i am out you can listen to our radio station on www.akide.com peace and out